In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a top 10 report. Imagine that you work for a company that sells property. Here's a list of property sales in the London area for November. We have the date, the address of the property, the value of the sale, and the sales rep. The sales rep being the name of the person in the team who was responsible for managing the sale. The sales manager wants a couple of reports creating. One that displays the top 10 most expensive properties sold that month, and one that displays the top five most expensive properties sold broken down by sales rep. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the practice file from the link in the description below. So, as I said, the first report needs to display the top 10 most expensive properties sold in November. The data is in a table called Sales 1. Columns G to J contain the top 10 rows from the table, and this is the formula that I've used. The Take function, which is available in Excel 365, literally takes the top X number of rows, 10 in this case, from the table called Sales 1. If the data is in a table, the headings are excluded. If the data isn't in a table, you just specify the range as the first argument, for example, A2 to D50, making sure you exclude the row with the headings. The problem with this formula is that it literally takes the top 10 rows from the table, but I want the top 10 property transactions based on price with the most expensive property first. I could manually sort the table based on column D, but I could also do this. This sorts the table into descending order based on the third column. Minus one means sort in descending order. And then the take function will take the top 10 rows from that sorted version of the table. By the way, the table isn't physically sorted, so you don't see the table in price order in the spreadsheet. It's a kind of virtual sort. It's important that you get the sort and take in the right order. In this example, I've done take sort. But what if I'd done sort take? What this does is retrieves the top 10 rows from the table and sorts them into order based on the numbers in column C. There's a subtle difference there. So we have our report, but the manager comes back and says that they want the top 10 transactions sorted by price, highest to lowest, but they only want the address, the price, and the sales rep. To do that, I'll combine take and sort with choose calls. Choose Calls allows you to choose specific columns from a table or range by specifying numbers that represent the positions of those columns within the table or range. So here, I want the second, third and fourth columns. But I don't want the second, third and fourth columns of the table, which is called Sales 2 in this sheet. I want the second, third and fourth columns of the table after it's been sorted in descending order on price. And once I have that, I want to retrieve the first 10 rows. In the other report, I want the top five sales for each sales rep. Again, it's going to be based on the price of the property. So for this one, I'm sorting in descending order by price but I'm not applying that sort to the entire table, which in this demo is called sales three. I'm using the filter function to pull out of the table, virtually, not physically, the rows where the value in the sales rep column matches the value in G1. And once that subset of rows has been generated, it's sorted, and the first five rows of that data set are retrieved. And then, it's just a case of copying the formula and pasting it into the right cells for each sales rep. Well, I hope the video helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like more Excel tips and tricks, check out my website at theexceltrainer.co.uk. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. But until then, have an excellent day.